Now let's see how would be the shape of indifference curve in case the goods that we are considering are perfect substitutes of each other. If the goods that are being considered are perfect substitutes of each other, what will happen is the MRS will be constant. The marginal rate of substitution will be constant. Let's take an example. Pepsi and Coke. Pepsi and Coke are perfect substitutes for each other. You can perfectly substitute Coke with a Pepsi and Pepsi with a Coke. If you do not have Coke, you can always satisfy your want by having a Pepsi and vice versa. So they both are perfect substitutes of each other. Now let's assume that you have five bottles of Pepsi and zero bottles of Coke. Now if you want one bottle of Coke, how many bottles will you be ready to give me? Only one. So you will remain, what will remain is four bottles with you. Now why will you give me only one bottle of Pepsi when I am giving you one bottle of Coke? It is because they are perfect substitutes for each other. Having a bottle of Pepsi or having a bottle of Coke does not make any difference. A bottle of Coke is not worth more than a bottle of Pepsi or a bottle of Pepsi is not worth less than a bottle of Coke. So a bottle of coke can be exchanged for one bottle of Pepsi only. Now if you now if I give you one more bottle of coke how many bottles will you be ready to exchange? Again only one. So you will be left with three bottles. If I give you one more bottle of coke you will again exchange it with one bottle so you will be left with two if i give you four bottles of coke again you will exchange the additional bottle of coke for one bottle of pepsi and now you will be left with one bottle of pepsi and finally if i give you five bottles of coke you wouldn't mind exchanging all five with me because for you it does not matter if you have five bottles of coke or five bottles of pepsi or any combination between them so now you will be left with zero bottles of pepsi what do you think is the mrs in this case the mrs here is one at this level it is one again at this level it is one again here it is one again here it is one so mrs is constant in case of perfect substitutes and we have already learned that when the MRS is constant the curve that we get is linear it is in the form of a straight line so the IC1 that we see here is linear it is in the form of a straight line likewise IC2 and IC3 will also be linear it is just that IC2 and IC3 will give me a higher level of satisfaction than IC1. How do you think will be the shape of indifference curve in case the goods are complementary to each other? They are of a nature wherein they complete each other. How do you think will be the shape of indifference curve. I'll, I'll give you one example on this. Let's take an example of shoes. In shoes, we always wear them in pairs. We have a left foot shoe and then we have a right side shoe. The left shoe 
completes the right shoe and the right shoe completes the left shoe so we can say that both are complementary to each other but what will happen if i give you an additional right foot shoe and one more right foot shoe and one more right foot shoe what will happen will your satisfaction level increase no it won't because you do not have the left foot shoe so your satisfaction level remains the same it does not increase even when i am increasing the amount of right foot shoe the quantity of right foot shoe so what happens is the indifference curve takes an l shape why let's see now let's assume that we are at point a at point a you have let's say one right shoe and one left shoe now if i give you one more right shoe but you are still left with one left shoe so you will get a combination at point b with two right shoes and one left shoe if i give you three right shoes but i do not give you a left shoe what will happen is you will get a combination let's name it as point c where you have three right shoes and one left shoe likewise if i give you one more right shoe so you will get a combination where you have four right shoes and one left shoe if you take a close look what is happening is you are getting a straight line which is parallel to x axis because on x axis we have taken the right shoe so this is a straight line parallel to x axis likewise let's say you are again at point a and i am giving you only left shoes but not giving you right shoes what will happen is your right shoe will remain constant only your left shoes will go on increasing what this will do is it will lead to a curve which is parallel to y axis because on y axis we have taken left shoe and thus we can say that in case of complementary goods we get an indifference curve which is we get an indifference curve which is l shaped that is initially it starts being parallel to y axis and later on after a point it becomes parallel to x axis